the first Toastmaster meeting. So you've taken a step, and this is what it's like in your Toastmaster journey. You come along Toastmasters and you take a step. You go, oh, I'm here at Toastmasters, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and you come, you come along and you become grammarian or you become the Yamanur counter, and you do that for a few weeks. And you come again and again, you keep doing grammarian, Yamanur counter, and pretty soon it becomes pretty easy. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Then it gets time to do your first speech, and then you become like, oh, my first speech, I'm going to do my first speech, I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. And then you start doing your speeches, and it becomes like P1, P2, P3, that's your speeches, all the way up to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you become like, whoa, I've done my 10 speeches, I'm awesome. <laughs> this is your Toastmaster journey. And you think, I might go on a competition. Then it's like, oh, I'm going in a competition, I don't really know what I'm doing, oh. And then you go in your first competition, you might place, you might not, you might win. You got another one, you got another one, and you got another one, another one, another one, another one, and you start getting pretty good at it. And then, you win district, and you get an opportunity to go to World Championship. It starts all over again. It goes, oh no, I'm going to the World Championship, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, so this is where I am right now in my journey, with your help. This is the world's first Toastmaster speech on a hoverboard. And I want to encourage you guys to see that at any stage of the process, it's going to be a bit like this. Eventually, you'll be like this. And really awesome. Then you might fall off. But then you, then you end up flying. So thank you so much.